me uh, an 18 by 24 and a couple other frames for my photographs. Got me another 11 by 15. And I got me another 8 by 5. 8 by 5 by 11. Because I've been documenting and recording everything. I just can't hang stuff on the wall that's not true. After all, I have been here for millions of years longer than all of you. And I know exactly what I'm talking about. And I have the proof of it to back it up. So, how are you guys doing? I'm going to put my, uh, <clears throat> me with the alpha wolf in heaven in that big picture frame. I went to Walmart and made a copy. I blew it up. Me in heaven with the alpha wolf. And me on Earth at the same time taking a photo of it. That's real big stuff. That's more than humanity can comprehend, apparently, because everybody else thinks these are just clouds. <laughs> and they're 100% absolutely wrong! <clears throat> but... You know, that's just me knowing things. It's called divinity. It's called of the of the divine. It's called I'm a deity. I'm doing stuff that shakes the foundations. And I'm not even trying hard. I can just go outside right now and take a picture, click. And you're like, whoa. That's real big stuff. I go, yeah, it is. <clears throat> but I think that the wolf, the alpha wolf in me in heaven made a big picture of this. Like this. I was going to go bigger, but the... Um, the... The photocopier at the Walmarts is a low-grade photo photocopier. They don't really do much for enhancing pictures that you have taken with your cell phone or with your camera. It'll look better. It'll look better if the picture was smaller. It will look a lot better if the picture was smaller. You can see more detail. It'll be more vibrant, more crisp, crispy. But let's see if it let's see if it can do a big poster size like I have been doing with my photographs. My content, my content doesn't come off the internet, doesn't come from books, doesn't come from podcasters, doesn't come from webcasts, doesn't come from anybody, not no movies, not TV, not authors, but me, me, just me. <clears throat> so, I have the greatest content. 
because I've been here longest, the longest. Of course I'm going to have the greatest content. If you've been here for millions of years, you would have the greatest content too. That's just being realistic. And I got me some new shoes. My other shoes wore out. I got me some FUBU. FUBU. Fuck you, buy us. <laughs> That's what it says on the shoes. FUBU. Fuck you, buy us. And I did. And I like them. They're comfortable. I don't see anybody having a problem with that. Good shoes. 20 bucks. Not bad. Not bad. <clears throat> I can't afford me no $300 or $1,000 Jordans. Besides, I don't like Michael Jordan. I don't care. <laughs> I like what I like. It's like... When you go out to eat or at a restaurant, when you go out to eat at a restaurant and something doesn't taste good, something that you ordered, it doesn't taste good for you. It's like bad or nasty. And you say, excuse me, waiter or waitress, could you please take this back? It's terrible. I'm sorry I ordered it. You know, just being realistic, if it, you're not going to want to eat something that tastes terrible and force yourself. Am I correct about that or what? You're just going to be polite and say, excuse me, could you please take this back? It's awful. You know, like if you ordered a hamburger and it's raw in the middle, you know, or if you ordered a steak and you said medium well or mid or mid, you know, medium rare or medium rare steak and it's well done charred, it's burnt. Excuse you say, excuse me, I ordered medium rare. This is like super well done crispy. You know. I don't want to eat that. I want to eat medium rare. I like it, tastes better. It's it's something that I that I'm paying for. You know. And when you pay for something, you want it to you want to enjoy it. It's your money. What did I say? Now get down off that, you nurtured pity. Leave it alone. That's dead as stuff. You got your toys. I put it on against the TV and he's like, kuh, 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 digging into it. Yeah, you. 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 <clears throat> Lay down. Lay down, you big turkey head. Uh, children's. They get into everything. You gotta be careful. Ah. You good boy? Yeah, you's a good boy. Farad. Now he's real happy. He gets, his, he gets to be next to daddy on the table. I had to put the light up higher so he couldn't reach it. So he can stick his nose in the light bulb. <laughs> and I got him some kitty treats. Got him some, um, his favorite. What do they call those kinds? Temptations. Cat treats. Temptation cat treats. He loves them. He's crazy about it. He's spoiled. Ow! Quit. Uh, sharp little claws. But anyway, yeah, I bought me some more picture frames. <clears throat> I got a copier, copy machine. Ink? 
for your copy machines? That's outrageous. 46 bucks for color. It should be the other way around. It should be 46 bucks for black. Because black is the main prim primary color of all, of all writing and all pictures. Color is just an additive. No, you can't have this. I know you want to smell it. Hey. He's a sniff -out. He's Mr. Sniff. He's got to sniff it. This is going to look good. This picture frame right here. This is going to look good. Two bucks. Two bucks for this picture frame. And the dollar for the other one. Twelve bucks for the big one. Twelve bucks for the big one. <clears throat> the lady at the Walmart said that she didn't know how to operate the, the big photo copier machine and that she gets off later today and someone else will be there to in charge to take over who knows what they're doing and I'm like okay <laughs> you don't know how to do it but you're over here in this department but it's okay Max must you sniff everything Mr. Sniffle yes it's my job. I sniff. And if I like it, I want to taste it to see what it tastes like. Quit it. Be a good boy. <sighs> so anyway, um, the government or the CIA gave out the... Um, the <clears throat> the holdings of the information of the extraterrestrial file cases, but they don't got all of them. They don't have all of them. They're missing one of the biggest major cases in all of history is us seven hikers. We helped, I helped create humanity. I just didn't see a UFO. I drove it. Time traveled, recognized and documented all through history, and helped create humanity, gave birth to humanity. That's something that they've been doing. They've been helping humans evolve. Before that, it used to be just animals and dinosaurs, and they had a hand in that too. And they brought animals here from other worlds. That you, some of you call pets. So, every species on every other planet has animals and they have pets that they tame to domesticate, including one notorious Mr. Hungry's, Mr. Nurchhead. Nurch. He doesn't care. What are you doing, Mix? See? He's purring. Can't hear it. His big old love head. Go eat your treats. Nope, he wants to be with daddy. He wants to take a really close look at those picture frames because it's something new that I brought in the house. <laughs> Mix a little. sniffing me <sighs> he woke me up at three o'clock in the morning this morning he woke me up at three o'clock in the morning because he wanted something to eat even though he had a bowl full of food I think he was confused 
He's getting old for his young kitty age. <clears throat> I'm going to get some help getting a vehicle pretty soon. And I don't know if I should go car or bike. I like bikes better. I love, I miss my Harley. I had a Harley Davidson 2006 Harley Davidson Fat Boy. Black powder coated ape hangers, sissy bar, <clears throat> Jimmy Bones theme. Wired chrome spoke rims. Vanson Hine short pipes with the baffles taken out. It was the loudest bike in, in town. And I liked it. These are old gloves. These gloves are, let me see, 12 years old. And they're still good. All I got to do is just sew up the seam right here. That's from wearing them over and over again repeatedly. They don't make this style glove anymore. <clears throat> they don't make this style glove anymore. It's a good, it's a good style. And uh, they don't make this style hat skull cap anymore either. I don't make this style of skull cap anymore either. This one costed 120 bucks back in the day. It's a classic now. It's probably worth 300. I hardly ever wear it, <clears throat> except for when I was riding. Feels good still. So a lot of people are getting their, um, they're getting their information disclosure from the CIA and um, of all the other case files. And uh, for a lot of people, that won't be good enough. You know, it'll it'll never be good enough. Not even if you were sitting next to one of the extraterrestrial elders having lunch at a restaurant. It still won't be good enough. Oh, well for them. I don't care. <laughs> they choose that. They choose that. That's their choice. Me? I had to accept it when I was a kid. When I was a little kid, I had to accept it all my life. And because I accept it, and because I've been learning more and having the proof of it that goes beyond comprehension today, makes me a very smart individual. And driving the craft was neat. It was pretty cool. But I don't know if I should get a car or a bike. Car, you could drive it in the rain. And a bike, you can drive it in the rain. Car, you can put more crap in the back seat. Bike, you can get a bagger and put stuff in your saddlebags, in your bags. Car has four wheels. Bike has two. Bike feels really good to drive. Car? Not really. Unless you got like a $150,000 sports car. That's a classic. You know, like your um, Dodge Challenger. 
like a Dodge Challenger. I would love to have a Dodge Challenger, but I can't afford it. I don't have that. I don't have no money for that. But if someone wanted to give me their Dodge Challenger, I'd take it. You know, free shit's cool. <laughs> Honestly, realistically, free shit is cool. You know, but I don't see anybody jumping at the opportunity to give me a nice vehicle. Because, you know, people be broke today. <laughs> people be broke. These are the kinds of good kinds right here. Snapped. Ah, cheese it. Ah, cheese it. Mmm. If I were to get a thousand people on this YouTube, then I can start making live videos and having you comment. You know, when the live videos comment, people can comment and stuff. You know, when I give live, I can do live videos right now on on Facebook. I usually go into these groups and pull about five thousand people. Or on TikTok, you know, pull about 5,000 doing a live video. But TikTok, and basically, if you don't make a live video, you're just basically making a minute video of content. As opposed to going live and teaching people, showing them, you know. A bigger reality of actually what's going on. But. I don't have that many on YouTube. At least not yet. Over the years I had. About 20,000 followers on Facebook. All my different accounts over the years. All people on Facebook. About 20,000 from different accounts. And, um, and also when Google Plus was still for the people. Instead of they ripped the cord out of it. I had a lot of a lot of people on there too. But to me it's not about the numbers. It's about teaching people. It's about showing them what's actually going on with me. And um, you know, it's a lot of stuff. And um I never, never surfed the internet looking for content. Never. To me, all those people who did podcasts and stuff like that usually came to me most of the time. Or I would say, hi, look at this. And they go, whoa, what's that? Well, that's what's going on with me. What's going on with you? Well, I'm just trying to get some content, you know, see if I can find somebody. You want to you be on my show? Sure. You know. That's what I do. I've been on many radio shows. I've been e even been on the the radio radio that you hear, like on your radio stations in Murfreesboro. I've been doing this for a long time. This ain't my first rodeo. Plus, I've been making history, helping. And doing stuff. And documenting and recording everything. I'm supposed to. You know? 
people have no idea about anything, you know, they don't know. A lot of wisdom and knowledge was lost over 10,000 years ago. And where was I? In the underground city. With all the knowledge, with all the wisdom, with all the elders. Where were all you people? You weren't even around. This was over 10,000 years ago. None of you people existed. None of you people existed. You haven't been here for 10,000 years. I have. That's why I know more than all of you. About certain things. I mean, you guys probably know a lot more than about me about computers and stuff like that. When it comes to computers and technical stuff, me, I'm one of your ancient ancestors. You know. But, you know, still every bit of family member. Just a lot different from everybody. Been here a long time. Know a lot of stuff. I know this tastes good. Snapped. Cheese it. Cheesy, thin, and crispy. Well, double cheese. It's grubbing. Max, he doesn't want it. Man, I got a lot of pictures. Every once in a while, I'll, I'll buy me some picture frames and put my pictures in the picture frames and just hang them up on the wall. Max, no. You listen. Hey. You listen to Dad. Ed. Now you quit it. Don't make me come across this desk. <laughs> My last name. Pass. It's on the Liberty Bell. By the way, isn't that interesting? And look at all this stuff that's happened to me. And I'm not a Freemason. I'm not Illuminati. I'm just good old me. You know it? It's a good boy. Okay, don't do it, Daddy. I'll bite you. Don't do it. Come here, Nudgehead. Somebody needs a nap. He's such a lazy boy. He needs a reclining chair. You know. <laughs> well, I'm going to get off here for a while. I'm kind of excited about <clears throat> the new big picture frame. That's going to look so good. Me and the Alpha Wolf <clears throat> in heaven and me on earth taking a picture is going to look so good in this big picture frame. And when I get the picture from Walmart, I'll share share how, how good it looks with you.
You know, this is a big picture frame. I have biggers, but, you know, it's a nice one. I can't afford the fancy spancy picture frames. You know, the heavy wood and all that stuff. All the decorations on it. I can't afford that kind of stuff. Even though my pictures are priceless. <laughs> oh, well. Maybe one day I'll hit the lotto, right? And we'll all have a big party. And have a big dinner together. Invite all the people who have been watching me. So they can take a look at my gallery. Well, love you guys. Have a good day. Amen.